you might have observed types of router in ospf is most common question of network engineer interview many time interviewer is asking to network engineer explain types of router in ospf or interviewer can ask you this question in different way as well they can ask you like explain asbr router in ospf what is abr router in ospf what is backbone router in ospf what is internal router in ospf so if you are a network engineer you are giving interview for for network engineering company so you definitely have observed this type of question in interview so guys if you are my paid student and you are preparing for job as a network engineer at the post of network engineer please watch this video till the end because in this video i am going to make you understand very clearly four types of router in ospf first one is internal router second one is backbone router third one is abr router area border router and fourth one is asbr router autonomous system border router so after watching this video you will get to know the difference between these four types of router what is asbr what is abr what is internal router and what is backbone router so let's begin number 1 backbone router so guys a router a ospf router whose all interface belongs to area 0 area 0 is backbone area understand there are two types of area in ospf number 1 area 0 and number 2 regular area all area except area 0 is known as regular area right like area 1 area 2 area 3 area 4 area 100 any area except area 0 is known as regular area so if you have a router if you have a ospf router whose all interface belongs to a area 0 area 0 is backbone area means a router whose all interface belongs to backbone area so that type of router is known as backbone router a router whose all interface belongs to backbone area backbone area means area 0 uh, an ospf router whose all interface belongs to backbone area backbone area means area 0 so a router an ospf router whose all interface belongs to area 0 or you can say backbone area so that type of router is known as backbone router second one is internal router guys an ospf router whose all interface belongs to a regular area regular area means all area except area 0 so suppose a router whose all interface belongs to area 1 area 2 area 3 area 4 any area except area 0 so that type of router is known as internal router and ospf router whose all interface belongs to a regular area so that type of router is known as internal router and third type of router is abr router abr stand for area border router guys an ospf router whose one interface belongs to area 0 not one interface at least one interface right uh, an ospf router whose at least one interface belongs to area 0 and at least one interface belongs to any area any regular area so that type of router is known as abr router area border router actually ospf router generate lsa1 within area lsa1 will never cross area so how communication will happen communication is possible between two different area with the help of abr router right so abr router means an ospf router whose at least one interface belongs to backbone area and at least one interface belongs to any regular area so that type of router is known as abr router and fourth one is asbr router autonomous system border router guys an ospf router whose one interface belongs to ospf domain and at least one interface belongs to any other domain like eigrp domain so to make communication possible between ospf domain and eigrp domain you have to perform redistribution so whenever you will perform redistribution on any router that router will become asbr router autonomous system border router so remember first one is backbone router whose all interface belongs to area 0 second type of router is internal router whose all interface belongs to regular area third type of router is third type of router is abr router 
whose one interface belongs to area 0 at least one interface belongs to area 0 and at least one interface belongs to any regular area so that type of router is known as ABR router whose one at least one interface belongs to SPF domain and at least one interface belongs to any other domain so whenever you can remember like this whenever we will perform redistribution on any router that router will become ASBR router guys in this topology as you can see R1 right R1 is an OSPF router whose all interface belongs to area 0 that means R1 is a backbone router if I talk about R2 so one interface of R2 is in area 0 and one interface of R2 is in area 1 so one interface belongs to a, a backbone area and one interface belongs to regular area so this type of router is known as abr router so that means in this topology r2 is abr router if i talk about r3 so you can see all interface of r3 belongs to regular area that is area one so r3 is a internal router internal router because all interface of r3 belongs to area one and area one is regular area okay so R1 is backbone router, R3 is internal router, R2 is ABR router. Let me talk about R5, R4. So on R4 you can see one interface of R4 belongs to OSPF domain and one interface of R4 belongs to EIGRP domain. So to make communication possible between EIGRP domain and OSPF domain we need to perform redistribution on R4. So whenever we will perform redistribution on R4, R4 be will become a SBR router. So R1 is my backbone router, R2 is my ABR router, R3 is my internal router and R4 is my ASBR router. So guys that's all for today. So you can answer to interviewer if interviewer is asking you explain types of router in OSPF so I am not going to discuss anything more in this video guys if you like this video if you are getting my point please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel and you are in networking field you are a network engineer please subscribe this channel because I am uploading this type of video every day please click on bell icon as well if you want if you want a notification whenever I will upload next video. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We will meet soon in next video. Till then stay safe guys.